color film is also a very handy way to hide, lock, group, cut, copy, paste, and delete. All these functions can be accessed using a right-click context menu on a color chip in color film. I'm going to make a quick clone of this design by right-clicking and dragging a copy. Notice now that there are six boxes in color film. Each box represents a different color in the stitch sequence. The symbols in the upper left corner of the boxes in color film mean that the designs are grouped. Each separate grouped object has a different color of box in the corner. By right-clicking on a color chip, the context menu has different functions. I can open object properties. I can group or ungroup lock or unlock, hide or unhide, or cut, copy, paste, duplicate, or delete a design. By right-clicking on the first group and selecting ungroup, you can now select each individual color chip of the first design. After ungrouping, notice that the boxes in the upper left corner of the first design are no longer present. By clicking on the second object, all objects are selected because this design is still grouped. By selecting the first color chip, that color can be changed to a new color, or you can select part of the design and change the type of stitch of that particular selected design. If Show Objects is activated at the top of color film, each individual object is shown in the boxes of color film. By clicking on it again, you'll get the colors back. Before saving this design, in order to form a more efficient stitch out, select Control A, that selects everything, and at the top of color film, click on Sequence by Color. The dialog box shows a suggested stitch order. Click OK to accept the stitch order, and notice in color film, the colors are now combined for a more efficient stitch out.